First impressions are everything. Start off on the right foot with a DIY doormat. Coyer doormats are ideal for this project. They're durable and flexible. You'll also need stencils, acrylic craft paint, and basic painting supplies. We'll be painting one of our cactus stencils twice to give our mat a balanced look. If you want to do the same, you may want to grab two of the cactus stencil sets to save time. You can cut your stencils to make them more manageable, but don't cut too close to the design. It's a good idea to overlap the stencils to prevent paint from getting between them and onto your doormat. Then secure them to each other and to the mat with painter's tape. We're using a stiff bristled paintbrush and an up and down daubing motion to work the paint way down into the fibers. This helps the design hold up longer to foot traffic and weather. You can even create a feathered effect by daubing on another color while your paint's still wet. We'll apply a bit of yellow over the green to give this cactus some dimension. Continue daubing paint onto the other parts of your stencil. It's important to work with one color at a time, taping off the nearby parts of the design that you're not working on to keep the colors from bleeding into each other. When you've finished painting, remove the stencils and let your mat dry. Then touch up the paint and add in any details. We're going to paint some white stripes on our cactus planter with a fine tipped brush. Then go in with a black paint marker to give the cactus more distinct leaves. Paint markers are also great for outlining shapes, letters, and numbers. With the design complete, it's time to apply your letters. You can trim the stencils to make sure the spacing is exactly the way you want it. It's always a good idea to use a ruler to line up your letters. Then tape them together and secure them to your mat with painter's tape. You'll use the same daubing technique as before, making sure to push the paint as deep as possible into the mat's fibers. Remove your stencils and then touch up your letters with a fine-tipped brush or paint pen if necessary. This is such an easy project and it's a great way to transition your front door from season to season. We carry lots of different stencils, so the possibilities are almost endless. Keep on top of DIY inspiration by subscribing to our YouTube channel. There are so many ways to live a creative life.